the whole area of buildings and the built environment is going through a transformation now, uh, driven by uh, by two aspects. One is uh, the push for a reduction in the environmental impact, uh, greenhouse gas emissions, uh, and, and the other uh, is the need to save energy. A net zero energy building basically produces from renewable energy sources as much energy as it consumes over the course of an average year. Because of the new technologies uh, from solar, energy efficiency, HVAC, uh, smart coatings, uh, uh, automation technologies, all of these are coming together and they make it possible to design and operate these buildings uh, in a much more efficient way that, than was possible before. Those efficiencies involve basically uh, first of all, optimally designing buildings so that you have uh, good surfaces, uh, appropriately oriented for capturing solar energy. And we are talking about three types of uh, solar energy use. It's daylight, it's solar heat, and solar electricity. By doing that, uh, and then combining it with energy efficiency measures, that is optimal levels of insulation and uh, efficient windows, uh, then we can achieve net zero energy. ELSER funding uh, provided us with support to cover all stages of our research, everything from basic research, uh, exploratory type of work, uh, looking at uh, innovative new ways of doing things, uh, uh, energy efficiency and solar, and then uh, uh, network project grants, uh, such as the uh, ELSER Solar Buildings Research Network that I led uh, from 2005 to 2010, and presently the Smart Net Zero Energy Buildings uh, Strategic uh, Research Network that I lead now uh, from 2011 to 2016. So there is a strong role uh, for universities and networks such as ours uh, to support uh, that, uh, that move that, were, uh, that will affect our quality of life and also uh, the economy with uh, job creation, uh, increased exports and uh, uh, enabling Canada to remain uh, a leader.